Hi all, in this video we are going to see how to set up MS SQL in Mac. In Mac we can use Azure Data Studio for viewing that SQL data from UI. For terminal we can use the SQL CLI tool for writing that SQL script in that command prompt. For viewing the data in Azure Data Studio we need to install that MS SQL that server. I'm going to install that MS SQL server in Docker as a image. So we need to install the Docker first. Please install the Docker in your systems from the Docker website. Once the Docker is installed, we need to pull that Microsoft MS SQL image to Docker. Once it pulled, we can see that image in the Docker image tab. Then we can run that image by using this command docker run then we need to give that server name and the password. Here this is the dummy password for default password is password that o is uh, that uh, numeric 0. This is that actual command for run that image. Once it executed we can see that image by writing this command in the terminal. Let's see by pulling that Docker image. The Docker image already I installed in my system. Here this is the Docker I already installed. Now currently it have no container also that image is empty, volume is empty. Let's run that command. Let's pull the image for MS SQL Server 2022. I am executing this command from the terminal or command prompt. It's pulling the image. Now that MS SQL server image is pulled. Let's see in Docker. Now you can see the Docker, the image tab. You can see that uh, image. It's downloaded totally. It's 2.9 GB. Okay, let's run this image. Again, it's downloading the image like Azure SQL EH latest one. This also required. Now, now it's completed. Let's see the Docker image. See the two uh, images are created. One is yes, Azure SQL Edge and this is MS SQL Server. Let's see the container. Yeah, it's running now. Let's check the list of container which are running. We can see from this command. See this image is running. I already installed that Azure Data Studio. Let's check that one. Yeah, this is Azure Data Studio. Click create a connection. Then here it's a local host. Then yes say then also e caps a s s w zero r d connect enable trust server certificate enable yeah it's connected the database is connected Let's now open one query window. Yeah, this is the query window. We can create a new database. See here by using this command, we can create the database. 
Yeah, now database is created. See the database created. We can create new tables like see. We can create uh, the tables by that um, the database script. We can change the database now. Yeah, then we can create the new database. Thanks for watching. Bye.